ಸಬಾಸ್ತ ಎಂಟರ್ಟೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ I'm doing this in English uh, you know just to reach out to the wider audience uh, uh, hopefully uh, to people across the world because this concerns the entire human race us as the human species uh we all know that humanity at this phase is going through a very turbulent uh, phase uh coronavirus covid-19 has encompassed all of us and turn our situation into a global crisis as well as personal um, crisis and um, separately but desperately we're grappling with this common uh, demon and it is you know something unprecedented at least in the living memories of uh, almost all of us and uh, coronavirus covid-19 as you know has brought even the most powerful and so called highly developed countries on their knees and shamefully you know they're exposed to their vulnerability and these powerful countries you know who have spent trillions of dollars to arm themselves to the teeth um in order to defend themselves or overpower their fellow human beings and you know calling them adversaries and enemies uh must recognize that it is not the nuclear uh, ammunition but pandemics like this are the real threat uh to the entire human uh species um uh, and uh, in a situation like this where most uh, leaders are showing their helplessness uh the weak leaders are pointing fingers at each other and engaged in blame games uh which is only stoking the fire and helping to proliferate in all kind of speculations and controversies and um conspiracies you know and which is totally to a person like you and me uh it's totally confusing and perplexing you know uh and uh, and to top that even the benevolent organization you know that was supposed to work uh, for the benefit of the uh, humanity at large you know to the entire humanity universally somehow seems to be uh, besmirched in all kind of controversies and have failed uh to play out their role effectively in a in a, in a crisis uh like this in a challenging time like this uh so i think you know this should be a a wake up call to the entire world because we should realize that us as a human now form a single global community uh you know and what happens in one corner of the world is going to have a domino effect in every corners of the world uh uh eventually so uh, so there there has to be i think a uh, solidarity uh more so now than ever before especially in the field of uh health and uh, environment uh so that is something that we need to prioritize uh because um you know we have seen that how the world reacts when things are confronted in the 11th hour uh when they're unprepared uh because uh, even about the present pandemics you, you know there were several uh uh even politicians several influencer in- influencers uh you know prominent people and even experts had uh, warned about this pandemic uh not so far distant in the past but somehow you know the powerful leaders of powerful countries they just went uh unheeded and now we have a beast in in in, in our front yard and the only thing that we can do is bolt the door safely and keep ourselves securely indoors and this is the situation that ha- that we have been caught up with uh, merely because the powerful countries just did not pay too much of attention uh to the experts or you know to the other prominent people who were sort of like warning about Uh, this situation so tomorrow god forbid you know uh, uh if there is some sort of a catastrophic uh, calamity 
uh, in, re uh, to, in relation to environment. Uh, looks like the world again will uh, unbashfully be exposed to its vulnerability, uh, you know, and that would be a sad case. Because as we have seen, you know, this lockdown, locking the entire, almost the entire human race indoors, has uh, not only given space for the universe to breathe, but also has helped uh, it to bloom uh, in the absence of, of, of the humanity. Uh, therefore, we should realize that uh, we are more of a burden than a boon to this world. Uh, we have absolutely no contribution in making this world environmentally a better place at all. Uh, because, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, for example, try to lock in all the trees of the world and I think the world will fall apart. Or try locking the rest of the species like we have locked, locked uh, human beings at this phase. Uh, imagine locking up the rest of the species indoors. I think the world and the universe will suffer immensely because all these, the other species and other plan, uh, uh, plants and, 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 and trees have a contribution uh, to make, to make this uh, universe a livable, and bountiful uh, place, uh, whereas uh, us, uh, we have uh, proven only uh, to be a, a, a hindrance uh, uh, more than anything else. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, I saw, and we are basically destroying the very uh, basis uh, we need to sustain our life. Uh, and uh, like they say, you know, there are no mistakes, there are only lessons to be learned. Uh, and uh, I think, uh, so let, you know, this be a lesson uh, not to uh, repeat the mistake that has been uh, done this time. Uh, let us give uh, health and environment the topmost priority, the topmost attention universally because health uh, also means not just protecting us from virus but it also means uh, giving quality source of food water and air to the entire human race and uh, and also by taking a good care uh, of the environment uh, and this is the only way we can sustain in this uh, planet uh, i think uh, so, um, uh, so this, let's take this uh, uh, as a wake-up call and be sensible and uh, look after ourselves uh, and take care of each other uh, before pointing finger at each other or putting each other down or you know, involving ourselves in this one upmanship game, whether it be in a global context or personal context. So my bottom line is let's learn a lesson. The world leaders, the world organization, just bear in mind that we're all in this, we're all in it together, you know, for the good, or for the bad. So let's just not concentrate in one part of the world or another part of the world. Let's try to focus and pay attention to the entire world, the entire human race, and uh, uh, especially when it comes to health and environment. Once the health and the environment is taken care of, in no time the prosperity will follow. So I guess this is all I have to say. Uh, good night for now, and hopefully um, I'll come back again with uh, different issues. So thank you.